So Apple has new iPad Pros out. Which one am I gonna get? Let's talk about it on a next Mix of Tech. Hi guys, welcome to Mix Tech, where we technology for the consumer prosumer, and I give my take on the things I see. I am super excited about the new iPad Pros. This is a significant upgrade from the previous generation. So this is gonna come with the M1 chip. I was not expecting this. I was expecting an A14X. To see what's in the Mac Mini right now, the new iMac, the MacBook Pro, and the MacBook Air in a tablet or the iPad, that's impressive. You're talking about an eight core CPU, eight core GPU, and eight gigs of RAM in an iPad. That is more pro level based upon the specs that are being put in this. So this display is gonna be amazing. And I know it's only on the 12.9 inch display, but to get this Liquid Retina XDR display, which is essentially mini LEDs, you're gonna get a million to one contrast ratio, so your blacks are gonna be really dark. And the brightness that you're gonna get out of your HDR content is going to be pretty impressive at 1600 nits. What I've really enjoyed on my third generation iPad Pro 12.9 inch is the USB-C. So it's really nice to be able to leverage this for connectivity, both on power and on data. Now with this USB-C port offering Thunderbolt, I'll be able to get high data transfer speeds out of the devices connected to it. So if you've been watching my channel, you know that I like Wi-Fi 6, and I expect it in most devices in 2021. That's what the new iPad Pro is gonna have. It's gonna have 802.11ax or Wi-Fi 6, so it's gonna offer good speed across my network on Eero Pro 6, and probably better battery usage because it's not always gonna be trying to connect to my network because of the protocol. So the camera's gonna be upgraded, the 12 megapixel camera is gonna be nice, but what's gonna be really cool is what they're calling center stage, and it's gonna have a wide angle lens that'll be able to follow you. This is similar to what you'll see on the Echo Show 10. If you're interested in seeing my video on that, check it out right there. So with all that being said, which iPad am I gonna get? Now, you can get the M1 on both the 11 inch and the 12.9 inch model. The big difference is gonna be on the display. And for me, that is a selling point on this iPad. So I'm gonna go with the Space Gray 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Now, the other thing that you have to figure out is what's gonna be the space that you're gonna get. Now, what's interesting is I currently only have 64 gigs on this third generation, and I'm only using 32 gigs of it. So theoretically, you would think, all right, 128 is fine, I could go with that. I'm expecting Apple, is working on, since they're providing some pro-level hardware, they're working on pro-level software capabilities or some sort of convergence between Mac OS and iPad OS. Not only will this be a great option for me to use iPad OS, I actually will hopefully be able to use pro-level software on it in the future. So with being able to use the pro-level software, I think if I'm gonna be using it, I'm gonna need some extra space. For $100 more, I can double the space, which I think is a fair value to get 256 gigs of storage on this iPad Pro. That's the same as what I have on my Mac Mini. All right, so that's two options that I'm choosing within the iPad Pro. And one of the last options is something that may make sense for a lot of people and may not, and I, I understand that. For me, I'm always carrying my iPhone around. So I really don't need to have 5G on my iPad. I'm gonna use hotspots, which are, I have a 5G hotspot with my phone and use it when I really need it to connect to my iPad when I'm not around Wi-Fi. So for me, I'm not gonna purchase the 5G version or the cellular version. That is pretty cool that's gonna be offered and it's an upgrade from the LTE. 5G is gonna be great with high speed and being able to offer low latency so that you can do some really practical things from a distance. But today I am just seeing 5G really as a kind of plus to LTE. So I'd rather use my phone than upgrade this for quite a bit of money and my plan. It's gonna save me money overall just to use my hot. So overall, I'm gonna be getting the 12.9 inch space gray model at 256 gigs without 5G. It's gonna be 1199 and I'm really excited to get it. I hope you liked this video. And if you have, make sure to give it a like. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more great content like this. Thanks for joining a mix of tech.